Happy Sunday. I've been watching these like Sunday reset routines and I really like the idea of this. I feel like it's forcing me to take care of myself. I just got back from a facial at Clean Your Dirty Face in Chicago. They have like a couple different locations. I went to the West Loop one and she just did such a good job. This is the clearest my skin has looked in such a long time. I do have like normal to combination skin, but we did like this hydrating rejuvenating treatment. I did a TikTok kind of like explaining it and she did this like brightening treatment under my eyes and I have such bad dark circles and I feel like I can really see how it worked. I already have all the skincare done. I highly, highly recommend Clean Your Dirty Face if you are in Chicago. They have really affordable facials. It takes like 30 minutes and she does this like incredible deep massage when she puts like the final skincare on. So this was just like the perfect way to close out my Sunday. I am actually gonna go and do a little bit of a hair mask because I'm shooting some photos tomorrow and my hair is kind of gross from the weekend. I was looking at like viral TikTok products. This Miele or Miel Roseberry Mint Scalp and Hair Strength oil that's like infused with biotin it got such good reviews on tiktok and on youtube so i bought it from target i'll link it below and i sometimes use it wow i can't my skin looks so good I'm like not gonna lie okay <laughs> okay so i sometimes use this on my split ends but it is a pretty heavy oil so i like to just do it mostly as a mask like maybe once a week once every other week i can be kind of lazy sometimes but this is why i like forcing myself to do videos like this also like the benefits of living alone it's just like i don't have to tell anybody to shut up while i'm filming you know what i mean <laughs> is that bad Oop. you're supposed to section off your hair into four parts so i don't know if there's like a good way of showing this but i just use this to clip it and then one full droplet you are supposed to like massage it a little does go a long way with this stuff. And I kind of just like eyeball this. I'm not precise about it at all. I don't really think it matters. We're gonna soak my hair with this, so. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil through the ends. This much of the dropper, kind of the same amount that I did for each section and just run it through. Then I'm gonna use this slip hair tie because it's literally made for sleeping. I think it's silk. Honestly, if you're gonna do like a slick back bun and you need a hair mask day, this is also such a hack for it instead of gelling it down. Also, I have nail fungus, so that's hot. And I can't do my nails anymore. I have to take like two weeks off. I'm so sad. I feel like that's like such a part of my personality is like nail designs. I'm gonna put this in a ponytail because I want it to stay slick the fuck back. Am I a ballerina? Absolutely not. I'm also gonna exfoliate my lips. I kind of just put any like lip balm on. I wet a washcloth and then I scrub. Instantly, it feels like I just got lip blushing. Then I'm gonna use this Clarins Lip Comfort Oil. And this stuff is so good. It looks like you just got lip blushing. Like, watch. Okay, let's go make dinner. I am obsessed with the boxer short trend. These boxer shorts are from Rumored. This sweatshirt is, I think, an extra large or a large from Paxson. This is what I live in around the house. So for dinner, what's made it so much easier for me is this all. I used to have them all the time in LA, and when I moved back to Chicago, I was so sad because i was like i do not know how i'm gonna survive without thistle and then a couple months later they literally expanded to chicago so i feel like it was for me um but tonight is brussels sprouts and asian pear fried rice with sesame pea crumbles so it's basically food that's already portioned out for you i'm on the vegan meal plan i'm a vegetarian i do eat cheese but they don't have just vegetarian it's got like the perfect amount of protein for your daily meals on cooking, literally watching Tess Christine's Sunday reset routine. I'm gonna do an apartment tour. I'm really excited to show you guys this. I haven't tried this from Thistle yet I think it's like one of their new meals. That was really good. Thistle is so healthy, but they actually make it taste so good Like if I did this on my own, this would taste like ass 
next part of my nighttime routine is just gonna be doing a five minute cleanup. We're gonna start with my living room, holding myself accountable, we love it. absolute game changer because I have a messy bulldog and she is absolutely disgusting. I love her so, so much. She falls asleep like this and like, <clears throat> I love her so much. Again, I love her so much. I love her so much, love her so much. She drools the whole night. My couch, from interior to fine, I got the pet friendly fabric because I knew, I was like, this bitch, this bitch is about to ruin my brand new white couch, which like, I don't even wanna talk about why I thought it was a good idea to get a white couch, but I did. I finally invested in the green machine. This is a game changer if you have a messy dog and a white couch. You're welcome. I like to add a little Folex in it. That is the only cleaner that is recommended, I think, by Interior Define. I've never used a better product than Folex. I don't know what magic sauce is in it, but it literally gets rid of every single stain. So that is some tongue juice, some tongue drool juiciness. <laughs> Water started out completely clean. That is the black water from all the dirt that it picked up from the couch. How disgusting, but also so satisfying is that? This is after. Right now the couch is still kind of wet. Every time I do this, I come outside and it's like a brand new couch. It's pretty crazy. My personal favorite part of the night is this. Like Google enabled the brand is Nano Leaf, and I just use it on my phone. I can just change the color on my app. That so vibe. I like this because I feel like it's very like serene, calming. This is the part of the night where I would normally read or watch TV while my phone is charging on a MagSafe charger so that I do not allow myself to get distracted. I just finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and it was so good. My productivity perfectionism, OCD, would not let me just like sit down and read a book because I told myself that that was me being lazy or unproductive. Honestly, half the time I wasn't even being productive. I was just thinking about being productive. But this is Before We Were Innocent by Ella Berman. It's part of Reese Witherspoon's book club and it has amazing reviews. So I'm gonna start this tonight. And then I also started watching this show on Netflix called Behind Her Eyes, which is really, really good. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Sunday refresh, reset routine. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video.